and welcome to A Week in My Life. I'm Nia Dragon and I'm an artist who loves all things cute. In this vlog, I'm sharing highlights from my birthday celebration, packing my June patron rewards, and doing a little bit of journaling. This week was a lot more extravagant than a usual week in my life. I celebrated my birthday over a couple of days, which kind of sounds like an oxymoron when you hear it out loud, but that was what we did. And it's honestly been such a delight to look back on on all of these moments over the past few days. Traditionally, I've actually found vlogs to be pretty difficult to string together just because there's an overwhelming amount of like small moments to capture and, and it is very easy to just get caught up in the moment. But I'm really proud of this compilation. Initially, I wasn't really looking forward to turning 26, but I think we really put a pretty magical spin on it. And now I have this lovely record of a really wholesome birthday to revisit in the future. Future. Anyway, I hope you all enjoy this diary entry of a week in my life. So this is the patron reward for June. Tried a different finish because typically I get like a textured fine art paper for my prints, but I just decided for this month I wanted to do something a little bit different. And I do actually kind of prefer it to the textured prints that I have been receiving. I do feel like they're just a lot more colorful than my textured prints. Color is obviously like a really important part of my work. This is like my first print from April when I first started my Patreon. And yeah, I just think this definitely is a lot more dull than this. And I know obviously like there's a huge color difference between this piece and this piece but I guess this just feels more true to like what it looks like on my iPad versus this because this is actually like a pretty colorful saturated piece as well but yeah I don't know I'd love to hear y'all's feedback on the finishes because I I'm not really partial to one or the other I like them both for like different reasons but I would love to know what, what you guys would prefer out of your prints again this was the patron reward for June and I am gonna go ahead and like pack some of these orders up and send them off on their merry way I hope everyone enjoys their reward for this month. I had a lot of fun making it. In just a few short days, I'm actually going to be celebrating my birthday, hence like the birthday cake theme of this print. Just happy to share a little bit of that birthday spirit with you guys this month. And also happy birthday to anyone out there who also is celebrating a birthday in June. June gang! But yeah, let me get these uh, packed up and sent out today.
So we just got back from our walk and then after we were supposed to go to the grocery store and just pick up some strawberries and some cake pans, I am attempting the viral jelly cat cake. Keyword attempting because I'm not really a baker, but I thought it would be a cute thing to have for my birthday this year. We stopped into Marshall's thinking that we might be able to find a little bit of bakeware in there, but that was a huge mistake. It just happened to be next to the grocery store that we went to, so we figured why not just look in there right quick, but we did not find the cake pans. Instead, we found a bunch of strawberry plates that were on clearance. Are they not the cutest thing ever? I, ugh. They're gonna look so cute with the cake. And I know that's not what we went in there for, but they were on clearance and they're so cute. So why not? In other news, my partner is trying to hype me up on being 26, which I have not been hyped about at all. <laughs> I feel like I just turned 25 and honestly I have been feeling like a lot of my cool birthdays have just passed me by. I knocked out 18, I knocked out 21, I knocked out 25 and it's a while till 30 honestly. But I know thinking that way is silly because it is a privilege to be able to get older. Not everyone has the chance to get another spin around the sun so I should be grateful and I know it's because it's not like a socially significant birthday to me that I just haven't put a lot of thought into celebrating or really doing too much in general but my partner convinced me like we should be doing something so for my birthday this year we're having a pool party with a couple good friends on the Sunday before my birthday my birthday falls on a Tuesday so we have plans with our friends and then our own separate plans this Tuesday but for this party I did want to make the jelly cat cake so I am I'm gonna go ahead and get started on it. Good morning. It's actually my birthday today. My birthday fell on a Tuesday this year and we held a little party on Sunday with friends, which was absolutely so fun. I wish I had caught a little bit more footage, but the cake was super cute and I had so much fun that day. I have been living in Atlanta for at least the past three years and for two of them, I really desperately wanted to move away. I was very lonely outside of my partner for the longest time because I didn't and feel like I had my own set of friends and just looking around at my party yesterday I was like oh my gosh wow this is like three years of just cool people I have finally like in the last couple months been feeling like Atlanta is more of my home right now and it's a really good feeling today though my partner has plans for us to go to a strawberry farm I don't know if I'll end up vlogging the entire day but I wanted to at least get ready with you guys this morning I already did my hair off camera because I did not know how this was going to turn out. I really like the idea of crochet bandanas but like I didn't know if it would work for my hair and the thickness and texture of my hair but I feel like this is looking really cute. Let me do a little spin. But yeah okay now I just need to do my face and then we'll be out.
So something I've been wanting to do for a while now is start some kind of journaling or scrapbooking practice. I had meant to start this actually when I did turn 25, but I just got so swept up in life that I never really made time for it. But when I was younger, I used to spend a lot of time going through my parents' photo albums and they were filled with pictures of like them in the 90s having fun and like all those really big moments and also lots of little small moments of their 20s and I've always wanted to do something similar. I know especially in this digital age it might seem a little bit pointless to put together a photo album or a scrapbook but just as easily as shows and movies can be wiped from streaming platforms I do have similar fears about you know years and years worth of iPhone photos. I've definitely even lost photos from when I was a teenager, either from just switching technology or losing passwords. Physical media is forever and it is largely how we've documented history in centuries past. So given my 26th birthday, I wanna start a practice of documenting the rest of my 20s and onwards. I picked up this notebook and this very viral right now Canon Ivy printer and I'm excited to do a little bit of scrapbooking today. And what better occasion than to scrap all the fun memories that I made on my birthday this year. 